you need this, Mrs. Kemp? Hello everybody, this is Mad Matt. Why is my mouth not moving? Because this effect takes too damn long in post. You're watching Movie Madness. Check it out. I just discovered that one of my favorite films is available to watch instantly on Netflix. A film that most of you probably haven't even heard of, even though it does star Jeff Bridges. The film was originally released in 1981 as Cutter and Bone, but that title was scrapped when certain execs said it sounded like a bad comedy about hospital surgeons. And so it was changed to the much more appropriate title, Cutter's Way. Cutter's Way tells the story of two friends. Alex Cutter, played by John Hurd, a grizzled Vietnam vet who lost an arm, a leg, and an eye while in country. And Richard Bone, played by Jeff Bridges, a handsome, libidinous drifter who personifies the term slacker before slacker was a term. Late one evening, Bone catches a glimpse of someone discarding a body in a trash can, and the next day he gets an inkling in his brain that said person might be J.J. Cord, the richest and most powerful man in Santa Barbara. Cutter, who's already bordering on mental breakdown as much from his alcoholism as his war traumas, decides to go after Cord. Not so much because he truly believes Cord is guilty, but because Cord represents the corporate America that sent so many men like Cutter to war. Although this sounds like a top murder mystery, it's really a somber character study of these two men. One a crippled but honorable shell of a man, the other an overprivileged drifter with an aversion to responsibility. The crime in the film is little more than a vehicle to establish conflict between these two divergent personalities, resulting in some tense drama and quotable dialogue. Now, the film does have its slow parts, particularly a drawn-out seduction scene between Bone and Cutter's wife Mo, played by Lisa Eichhorn. I could go on for hours about the film's underlying themes of essence of masculinity and how it becomes more fully realized in the physically impotent Cutter than the more robust Bone, but these are conversations better had after you viewed the film. This movie isn't for everyone, but if you're prepared going in for the measured way it tells its story, you won't be disappointed. Mad Matt says, set some time aside and give this film a look. I'd be anxious to hear what you thought of it. All right, we've seen what you can do with a boy. How are you when they come a little bigger?